Welcome everybody to our fourth match of the evening. We are going to be looking at um, I'm, I'm sorry, my name is Bio. I am joined here by Manic, and we are going to be looking at uh, winners round um, round three, I believe, between um, between two, uh, two teams. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, Manic, tell us, what are these two teams that we are going to be looking at today? Oh, well, uh, I guess we will be looking at Carbon Domination and Misclick uh, as we do round three yet again in order to drum up hype for round four, which will be coming very soon, TM. Yes, definitely. We're going to be looking at uh, same as our... We are going to be using the same map list as our last casted match. We were going to be beginning on Splat Zones Undertow Spillway. Manic, uh, seeing as seeing some of the teams that we are seeing on both sides, do you have any specific uh, comments on any of them? Not exactly. I don't really know any of these because I'm not really too much in the scene. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 the biggest one that I would like to mention is Espresso, a Division 1 Slayer for Spark, I believe. Uh, so oh. this is definitely going to be a bit of a heated match between Misclick and Carbon Domination. Um, uh, I don't know too much about Misclick um, and their level, but but I have confidence in them. We will be going to be some sp we are going to be seeing some sparks fly between these two teams. And as they choose their weapons, we are going to spell head zones under toast spillway. As mentioned previously, this is a very, very linear map. Not very many, well, really not any um, flank routes. Everything is really funneled into this very cramped mid area with that very uncomfortable wall separating both zones. So it's just going to have to boil down to what team can play around that, again, very uncomfortable mid area better we are seeing misca coming out with a damper composition while carbon domination is true to their name going with a carbon roller deco very interesting compositions coming out on both sides i do believe the carbon works very well on this map due to its range geometry and but regardless misclick is um Mis is kind of uh, is already on the back foot here um, going, uh, sorry, Carbon Domination is already one down here. The machine does come back, but um, this thing is doing a great job of trying to space out these fights, trying to get picks, but again, it's not quite enough, and Carbon Domination is going to take the zone and start holding this match to the finish. Yes, uh, well, I guess they figured out to how to get over the wall by using the Zipcaster. Uh, that's one way to play. But it seems Carbon Domination is uh, uh, Carbon Dominated uh, currently. Uh, as the Misclick uh, is able to hold down a zone or for the second time now, uh, we'll, we'll hopefully see the countdown go a bit more faster now. Imagine if the countdown ramped up, that'd be scary. Definitely. It would make knockouts even more dangerous as it is right now, but a very clean pick coming out from the Stamper on the side of Misclick. Carbon Domination struggling to make something happen here. The, the Carbon pushing up very, very aggressively, overextends a bit, not quite able to find a pick, so they are going to be going back to spawn here. This Stamper going very aggressively with the Zipcaster, not quite able to find a pick, and the Charger on the side of Misclick does does find itself in a very unfortunate position, and this is pick giving Carbon Domination the win that they need to cap the zone, uh, put some penalty on Misclick, and probably find a way in not quite they're getting walled out by these strikes this carbon is the main um is the main show dealer of this match they're going to be pretty much putting up most of the aggression on the side of carbon domination true to their name one, one down on both sides of the current 3v3 this machine trying to space out but espresso coming out from behind with that machine gets the pick on their ditto but again it's not enough this stamper is putting in so much work managing to find several picks and even trading with the mush with the carbon roller on landing that was very impressive but regardless it is not quite enough and carbon domination are looking to uh, to knock this game out with a dominant knockout yeah, it's quite the uh, skillful maneuver there with from that uh, zip caster uh, but here we have this click stalling the zone and potentially getting a very nice capture, uh, giving them quite the hefty bonus or er, the penalty zone. And here's the carbon lying in wait for a nice 
trade. Uh, I guess he wasn't going for a trade, but trying to double soil for nonetheless. Um, trying strike, just coming in, trying to dominate the surrounding area and getting the zone back again uh, to relieve some of the penalty. Uh, wow, this is uh, quite the back and forth so far. We have bombs just to keep a bit more of the zone yet again uh, captured, but it seems uh, they're kind of coming back and forth. It seems uh, the special usage is quite high in this current circumstance. Maybe we'll see a bit more of it as the specials are uh, uh, built up and uh, unleashed whenever the peak moment of when we can get to. Mm, definitely. Misclick is trying to find their zone here. 2v2 right now. Two down on both sides and this carbon is making up for their struggles getting pick after pick and opening up the map for their team as Carbon Domination once again take control of the zone and start putting up some forward pressure. Carbon Sharking on the right side looking to find someone dropping unaware. Very aggressive push from Misclick. So many specials coming out but it's not quite enough. This Carbon gets one. Can they find two? Not quite but they do run away so they can serve their life. That is worth it. It's just still sharking on the side of their zone. Not really wanting to go for anything as the Zipcaster was active from misclick carbon domination trying to play off their chip and the way that they can space out their opponents to hold the zone here for as long as they can but it might just not be enough um in the face of misclicks um dry strikes uh especially here trying to push in with this booyah bomb will it be enough that misclick has a booyah bomb on their own but it's not enough Mis uh, misclick are getting so so many try strikes to either push in their team or wall out the other and it is just so difficult for common domination to get their slayers in with so so many area of effect specials coming out from misclick those booyah bombs those tri strikes etc and it's just so so difficult for them to really do anything uh they do have the lead here but they will have to cap the zone will it be enough yes it is and us in a very scrappy team fight there at the end carbon domination will be taking game one against misclick that was definitely a very very stally uh match there manico what, what do you think is what do you think made carbon domination just that little bit better to hold the zone there at the end did they do anything truly special or was it just kind of a war of attrition mm. that they managed to play their resources correctly I don't really think. What's that one weapon that was really, really getting all of them splats and, and destroying any sort of semblance of, uh, uh, you know, getting the zones? Hmm. Oh, right, the carbon. Right, yeah, that one. It was uh, really, really impressive how they are just uh, able to shark at the correct opportunity. Sometimes they got caught, but they were able to at least get a trade, which was quite an impressive feat. Um, but yeah, that, uh, well, I mean... They, uh, the opponent's team, they had a Zipcaster, right? Or was it Carpet Domination that had the Zipcaster? No, 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 it was, um, it was Miss Click who had the Zipcaster thanks to that Splatana yeah. Stamper. So that's very impressive that they were able to, uh, to keep the Zipcaster at bay as well, um, and not have the Zipcaster do too much of a damage, uh, to make them spawn camp. Uh, whenever they had it, as there is no real flanking way, of, um, uh, otherwise you'd have to, just to push the middle as much as you can. Uh, and definitely so many of these tri strikes and booyah bombs going off whenever they can uh, get a foothold to stop the zone or even just turn the tide, uh, unless they just painted it over, or focus painted there. Definitely. All those tri strikes and all those booyah bombs coming out from misclick were a very big problem for that roller. But as we saw, the carbon domination was a little was just able to push through them and just wait them out and push misclick when they had no resources. Now in all this discussion, we forgot to mention the second map splat zones on Hagglefish Market. We are going in here. No time to waste. Match point for carbon domination. Uh, Carbon Roller is definitely a bit of a difficult weapon to use on this map, even with the flank roads, but let's see if Okami will be able to make this work. Uh, going with a bit of a different composition, Carbon Domination is no machine, especially as instead of going to be going with that Tenetech splatter shot, while Misclick is going to be sticking with their same um, stick. Still going for that Tri Strike spam, that, that Booyah Bomb spam, and all of those, and all that chip damage. <laughs> 
the tri strikes coming out from every direction on both sides, but it, in the end, through all the smoke, it's going to be Karma Domination falling to misclick three down and only the splash left eventually falling. And look how fast, <laughs> look how fast the rotates from misclick were. They were all, all, already set up on Karma Domination's plat. They do get pushed out, but the fact that they managed to stall for just a little bit was so devastating. That's already a pick on the Ten Attack Splatter Shot. And it, and all of these tri strike that is two sets of tri strike coming out simultaneously so much space being denied from carbon domination and keeping their namesake the carbon roller from pushing in and getting the picks that it needs yeah it's uh keeping it at bay very well from the, that the fire thing um the, the, the ink strikes are definitely probably going to be uh, a bit better oh there's a nice, nice trade there uh with the stamper and carbon uh, three down for Carbon Domination, which is truly a bit unfortunate as the clock will keep ticking down for Miss Glick as they're slightly in the lead and uh, definitely going to increase the gap even more. Uh, as as Carbon is Carbon Domination is still in the zone, just uh, biding their time for the tri strikes. Uh, unfortunately, not being able to ink enough of the zone to force a stall. Oh wow, we're already down to the last 30 seconds of the zone. Uh, okay, very nice. Can they just get the capture? Oh, very nice. And almost a wipeout for misclick, of giving them a very... Oh, it's actually not too hefty, to be honest. Uh, but it still will keep them at bay for a little while uh, from, from the, from the uh, yeah, takedown. Uh, wow, it's... Uh, here comes another tri shrink strike uh, just to mess with... Uh, <laughs> that flank there, uh, then yeah, here comes the little uh, sneaky uh, uh, flank from the Zipcaster, or the, yeah, yeah, Zipcaster. Unfortunately not getting too many picks, but definitely interfering with any sort of uh, kind of uh, confidence, I should say. Uh, oh wow, getting a nice uh, pick from there, uh, ending the tri strike early, or did they throw out all three? I think they threw out all three. Uh, but definitely st still destroying all uh, all that uh, that special. Mm, definitely, and this this carbon roller is struggling to get picks here between the um, between the Steinberg managing to to always trade with them, the um, all the chip damage revealing their location, the charger always just managing to find those picks on them, and the penalty is ticking down for Mystic very very quickly. It's only nine points left. Um, it, and again, they are in knockout position. Even with all these tri strikes coming out, it is it is a man disadvantage for Karma Domination. They don't manage to flip the zone here. It is a three v three right now, or oh, two v three maybe. Karma Domination, if they manage to find that crucial pick, not a point, but they need to paint the zone right now if they want to get the penalty. Yeah, they do. Can mm. they? Can they change it? Not Yo. quite. Only managed to neutralize it and is not quite enough misclick are going to be taking game two and putting themselves back on the board here in this winner's round three we are going to be going to a game three folks first time on this stream as these two teams duke it out very very closely together I, I told you guys folks this it was going to be a very close set i could just smell it and we are going now to Game three. Panic, what are you thinking of this extremely close set? I was down to the wire, and we're even going to be ending on a down to the wire third game, which is a first for this uh, for this uh, day. Um, wow, I, I could not believe how close they were, just edging uh, the countdown there, and finally getting the, the, the countdown back to zero, where it belonged. Uh... Wow, just did not think that it would actually happen. Oh, for sure. And now we're going to our game three map, Splat Zones on Mincemeat Metalworks. Let me just tell you, if Splat Zones on Hagglefish was difficult for the Carbon, this is going to be nigh impossible for them. This map has no flank roots, very difficult to push through mid. So, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm I mean, not sure Carbon Domination's box boxes. is going to struggle i mean there are the boxes but harry uh, but the main problem is carbon closing the distance to get on those boxes it's just going to struggle a lot with 
how with the, I mean, if other weapons struggle to move through this map without specials, imagine carbon, imagine a roller that depends a lot on sharking. It's going to be very difficult for them to move through this and get the picks that they need to open up their team's pushes. Miss Club going out with their tried and true comp while carbon domination going with a double splash machine carbon. Very interesting change of pace here, especially going for a bit of an unconventional build, the same with one of the splashes. No object shredder, no nothing. Choosing to just go for raw special spam. Very, very interesting, especially seeing as how uh, Mr. does have some HP. And folks, this is just a recurring theme. Look at how many tri strikes are going down right now. Misclick managing to hold on, but those tri strikes are so devastating. That's three down. Carbon Domination looking to push this charger out of position and push even farther into their spawn. And that is a wipeout for Misclick. That must be devastating. But I'm not sure if I like this. Carbon Domination doesn't have much presence on Misclick's platform. That is going to allow them to just get back on their plat. But I am just shocked at how many tri strikes are going down here. That is a those are two tri strike weapons on both teams, and we're just seeing so so many being popped. And that's a, that's another double tri strike dive from Misclick, just but only manages to contest the zone. It's not enough. They need to flip this in order to give Carbon Domination some penalty, and that is what we're seeing. And even though Carbon Domination is still pushing. They are no longer in knockout territory. Yeah, that uh, uh, triple inspirings. Oh, here they come again. Uh, really in paired uh, or in pairs. Uh, and here comes the zone back again from this click. Will they be able to keep it though? Is a better question. As they don't have any more penalty, but they will have to uh, try and keep it away from carbon domination. Which, well, unfortunately, they seem to have a knack of grabbing it back and forth. Uh, with the trying strikes and the, the, the booyah blast. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow, it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's keep on going. Uh, three down from Carbon Domination. Definitely going to be able to take some time to uh, round down the points a little bit. Uh, while they do have a little bit of presence uh, near the spawn, not enough to kind of dumb. Well, actually, yeah, they're really keeping them back. Uh, Pretty good stall game here, but here comes the triple ink strike yet again. Uh, should we just say it's a discount for your bomb at this point? <laughs> I wouldn't even say discount. I think Trash Strike is a better special better? than Weabomb right now. Yeah. But yeah, and it's just misclick are playing off of that very, very well. This zipcast are putting up so much pit midline pressure, keeping Karma Domination from pushing out of their platform, but that is another trash strike, but it's not enough. Misclick managed to edge out that lead even after getting penalty they still have the lead so the pressure is now on carbon domination to make something happen and it's still just it's it's not enough three go down on the side of carbon domination carbon roller unfortunately dies um jumping out unfortunate latency moment and i miss click are doing such a great job look how are pushed forward they are they are covering all the possible approach angles for carbon domination making it very difficult for them to push trade on the Carbon Roller, that is crucial, that they only have two tri strikes. Carbon Domination is going to have to make something happen right now. That splash dying was not what you needed. You guys had two tri strikes. This Carbon Roller is going in, desperately trying to get picks, but it's not enough. And Misclick managing to maintain zone for just long enough to get that knockout. And that is going to be game three, tiebreaker going to um, Misclick. Very, very intense games going on here. I guess that was a truly misclick moment where they misclicked not getting their triple ink strike out just before they, they got capped. Wow, they, that was that was a very close game near the end. If only uh, more members of, uh, of uh, Common Domination was out. Uh, oh wait, I'm mis uh, <laughs> misremembering which team was which. Oh my god, uh, that was that was a really really good defense from Misclick then. 
Mm, definitely. And after those three neck and neck games, leaving us on the edge of our seats, we are going to be right back for yet another match here in this wonderful double elimination bracket after this absolutely incredible set. We will be right back, folks. See you soon. Splatoon Stronghold, a stronghold for competitive Splatoon, providing resources to long timers and newcomers alike. If you're new to the competitive scene or are still figuring out how to join, we have a getting started guide and plenty of other resources to help you in your journey. If you are a seasoned veteran, we still have plenty to offer. You can find and join tournaments as well as participate in our captain forum and find free agents and teams. Our mission is to make competitive Splatoon easily accessible to everyone. So what are you waiting for? Join the Splatoon Stronghold today!